more into automation, both manual and automation, but a big fan of automation. Uh, I try to try and figure out ways to automate things that become too rigorous for me on a day to day basis. Uh, so in that process, while I'm working on a project which has responsive website, you know what responsive website is, right? Uh, has everyone heard about it? So while working on one such project, uh, one day I decided I can't do it manually. So then I started figuring out ways to automate it. Uh, and this talk, this talk is based on my experience on automating the responsive website. Okay. So first things first, what is responsive web design? So I have seen a lot of heads nodding when they said they know responsive website. So any answers? Just take a Yeah, yeah, if uh, the content fits the device. Can, can you be more specific? By device, what do you mean? So the, at a very high level, the definition is the definition of responsive web design as per uh, encyclopedia is or Wikipedia is. Uh, so the browser or the website should match or should fit the content based on the end user screen resolution or screen size for that matter. <coughs> so uh, just quickly, let's walk through the evolution of responsive web design, right? How, how come responsive web design come into picture? Uh, so if you remember, CSS was introduced in 1997. That's when websites became really popular, right? And mobiles did not come into picture until the 21st century, right? Until 2000, there was no mobile. Even though if there was mobile, there is no question of having websites on mobile. There were just Nokia ones, you know, the strongest mobiles, right? But when mobiles started getting the uh, ability to have internet on them, that's when people started thinking, how can we provide websites on mobiles? To Right. Uh, so for people who have been in IT for a long time, you would have known websites existing in two different domains, namely www.domain.com or m.domain.com. So whenever you're opening it on a browser, on a desktop, it loads www. And whenever you're opening it on a mobile, it opens m. Right. So this was the approach that was followed initially. So quickly, do, you, do we see a problem here? Is there an issue having two different domains? What could be the development?